Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Coast to coast, This Week in America. Raymond J. Klein is retired. His career was that of an advertising commercial photographer. He developed innovative light lighting techniques during his career, which made his work in demand by advertising clients. He earned a Master of Photography degree in 1976 with the Professional Photographers of America. You've seen his work published in magazines such as McCall's Vogue, Popular Mechanics, U.S. News and World Report, Family Circle, USA Today, Popular Photography and Imaging, various catalogs, and more. Recently, his work was included, first prize winning photograph in Popular Photography Magazine's 23rd Annual International Contest, which included the work of other photographers coming from more than 90 cities around the world. He's now a resident of Vancouver, Washington, and a member of the Mosaic Art Group. His career was mainly in Chicago, where he lived and worked until retiring in 1995. Raymond is author of Visions of Light inspirational poetry, stunning photography, called a masterpiece, a brilliant book, recipient of a Pacific Book Review five-star review and a reader's favorite five stars, a unique collection offering astonishing abstract photographic interpretations of light and scenes from nature combined with luminous inspirational verse. And new from Raymond Klein, the critically acclaimed Illuminations, earning a living with dynamic photography. We welcome back to This Week in America, Raymond Klein. Raymond, welcome back to the program. It's great to have you with us. Oh, hi, Rick. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. It is always a pleasure to talk about Visions of Light. This is just a stunning book, so well done. New book is Illuminations. Let's go back and talk about Visions of Light here for a second. Give me the, the inspiration for doing this because it's really a unique presentation, isn't it? Yes. Uh, what happened there was uh, I had a uh, an exhibition I had entered, and uh, I only had one image. Uh, that The exhibition called for one image only, and uh, the one that I had put in, the uh, uh, exhibition was titled uh, Images That Inspired uh, Words or Words That Inspired Images. And so I had my piece up there and I saw all these poems and I saw that they uh, kind of uh, talked about images that I had. So I went and talked to uh, the poets and got them to uh, work up poems to go into the book. That was when I created that book. That was back in uh, 2010 that I started to get that together. And it was uh, published eventually by 2013. And then just recently, working with uh, Paige uh, Turner Press and Media, uh, we put a new cover onto the book, which is that uh, uh, prize-winning photograph that you just mentioned. Uh, some of the cities that uh, the uh, competition came from was from like Beijing and Hong Kong, London, Paris, wow. Rome. Uh, New York, Chicago, Seattle, Los Angeles, San Francisco, just to name a few <laughs> the biggies. But uh, that that was, was inspired me to uh, produce that book. It's just amazing, and I love the new color. You can go to pageturner.us in the bookstore, see the book. The book's available wherever books are sold. You go to Raymond's website, that's Raymond J. Klein, K-L-E-I-N, author.com. All of those, of course, on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. In fact, if you go to Raymond's website, you'll see a lot of brilliant examples of his work. Uh, years in, in photography, you can see why he's an award-winning photographer. The new book you've got out, also so well done, receiving excellent reviews, is Illuminations. Tell me about the, the inspiration, the motivation behind writing that book. Okay, Illuminations, again, is all talking about light. And uh, the book really is a story book, uh, whereas uh, the visions of light is is more of a uh, just individual little stories. But this is a continuing story, uh, chapter after chapter. So this is a story about going from a two dollar an hour camera operator, this is way back in 1956, to a two hundred dollar an hour photographer. 
Uh, that happened in 1976 when I earned my master of photography degree. And then learning the craft of photography, applying the knowledge and discovering a, a photographer's billable time at 1500 to $1,600 a day. It's about my life and how I got into the photographic advertising field, then transitioning into the art exhibition and selling photographic art. You know, uh, people kept asking me, how do you get into oh, that yes. field? And so the book, that the best book answers that question. And that was my inspiration uh, to do this book. And that book is Illuminations. It's now available. You'll find that as well at pageturner.us in the bookstore at RaymondJKleinAuthor.com, the places where where books are sold. I want to talk about one of the pictures in particular in the in the book Illuminations, Autumn Leaves, and I think that's a perfect example of having your work out there, somebody seeing it, liking it, and, and purchasing it. That's right. Yeah, just recently, uh, actually, I have sold close or a little bit over two thousand dollars worth of that particular image i had it on display in the hilton hotel here uh, in vancouver and a person from idaho purchased a a canvas version of it and just recently i had it a a larger one a 20 inch wide by 24 inch high image in a restaurant on display and it sold over the labor day weekend just this past month that's just uh, amazing. So I, I, uh, my my uh, canvas image uh, was uh, three hundred dollars, and uh, you know by the time the uh, uh, tax people get their take and the and the gallery gets their take, well, you know, <laughs> I'll probably get a uh, two hundred <laughs> some dollar check. <laughs> Hopefully, a little left anyway, over by the time it gets down that, to you. That, that particular image that you're looking at right there, I think, has that pink uh, label on it, maybe, or a ribbon. Yes. It earned a uh, uh, People's Choice Award, and uh, I received a hundred dollars for just for being the People's Choice Award. So that was kind of fun. Well, it's so well done, and you'll find that in uh, in the book that's now available, the new book that's uh, called that's Illuminations. Right. You'll find a picture of that uh, at his website, RaymondJKleinAuthor.com. And again, all of these books available at uh, pageturner.us in the bookstore. Let's talk a little bit about the challenges in, in putting these books together. Let's talk about visions of light because you've got these these two different uh, aspects that you, you've got the pictures, you've got the poetry. What was that like working together and in, in putting this into, uh, putting all of that into the award-winning book? Well, that was kind of challenging because I had all these uh, poems. I, I uh, emailed pictures to the poets. I had uh, uh, found four poets that were willing to work with me. So I would send them a, um, a, a picture of it over the Internet. And then they would come up with these ideas and uh, write poems and send them back to me, all, you know, working over the Internet. So I had all these pictures laid out on my dining room table and when the poems came in i'd have to print them and lay them out there and and decide you know um i'd get two or three or four uh different uh, versions from the poets and so i would select the poem that worked the best with the image so that was uh, kind of fun doing that what were maybe some of the highlights in going back and putting together visions of light? And then also with the new book, Illuminations, telling your story. It's such an impressive story where you uh, you started at, at a young age, I think, with your dad's folding Kodak camera. And all of a sudden, you're one of the uh, the country's premier photographers. What did the highlights, <laughs> what were the highlights in going back and, and putting both of these together, showing your work and then talking about your life? That's right. Yeah. Illuminations really is the story of my life because what got me going was way back when I was in high school as a freshman, I sold a one of my uh, pictures uh, to the uh, Milwaukee Journal newspaper. That was the city where I was living and going to school. And it was published and I received a check for $10.00. <laughs> wow. To me, at oh, 14, yeah. yes. you know, I was... I had a newspaper route peddling the, the newspaper that I 
had read about submitting your picture. And uh, so at that time, I was already interested in photography and, <clears throat> you know, was doing uh, photographs and making prints. And I sent this one uh, in there. Well, by the time I got through high school, I had so like about four or five pictures into that particular column. So I was, that was kind of exciting for me at that age, right? Oh, yes, yes. That would just be, uh, and obviously you remember that like it was yesterday when this, uh, when this happened. That's right. Raymond J. Klein, our and guest. I, 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 had, I happened to get the copies of that. Uh, my, my printer's copy just came the other day, actually. Uh, that's how recent this is published. Wow. Now, that picture came out very nice in, in, the, uh, in the book. They printed it very large. It's uh, like about uh, an eight by eight size print of that particular picture that I sold way back in the 1940s. It's a picture of a cat uh, playing with a canary. Uh, when my mother used to put the food in the canary's cage, the cat used to jump up on a ledge there and and uh, reach down towards the uh, towards the canary. And it made a terrific shot. <laughs> That's in uh, Ray's new book, Illuminations, Earning a Living with uh, uh, Dynamic Photography. You'll find that. Well, let's go through the list because the books are available basically anywhere. Illuminations, literally hot off the press. You'll find them available for sale, all Amazon sites, Barnes & Noble, Page Turner's Bookstore, Chapters Indigo in Canada, Waterstones in the UK, Booktopia in Australia and New Zealand, and a lot more. And, of course, from Raymond's site, RaymondJKleinAuthor.com, you'll find all of the books there, and you can link on to all of those by going to our website, ThisWeekInAmerica.us. When was it that, and this would be, I'm sure, in the book Illuminations, when you realized the power of what you were doing, when you were taking a picture of a product and suddenly a company is using this in national advertising, seeing a spike in sales, and you realize, boy, there really is importance of what you were doing. You would, you know, a picture done well really is powerful, isn't it? That's right. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the first, uh, pictures in the book is uh, a national advertisement for uh, rugs. And uh, I had another cat to have to work with in that particular picture. And it was a picture of four bathroom rugs uh, suspended. And a Siamese cat again was uh, lying on the rug nearest the, uh, the camera. And then that, by that time, when I did that photograph, I had had to shoot the picture with film that was 11 by 14 inches in size. So you can imagine the size of the camera that had to put that film into it. And and so th that particular story occupies maybe uh, two or three pages in the book in itself, because I wanted to tell young people how a photographer actually puts a scene like that together. And uh, uh, we did one shot and the cat thought that the, uh, the job was over and wanted to get <laughs> off the set. You know? So we, we had to convince it to get back onto the set and, uh, you know, do some more shots uh, with this 11 by 14 film. But by the time, we did get the picture processed and it got into the art director's hands. Well, he was really just blown away, basically. You know, he was really happy with that particular picture. In the advertisement, I, I talk about it uh, a lot in the book and how the set was constructed. Now, normally, uh, you know, people say, well, uh, how much effort does it take to do a photograph? You know, well, it took three days to build this, put this set together so that we could, you know, contain the cat when it was on the set. Yes. Uh, you know, even though we'd have to catch it and put it back, but uh, um, it was quite a challenge just putting that set together. And so that's, uh, uh, you know, an, an, a pretty interesting story in myself. Well, that's an illuminations, earning a living with dynamic photography. There's so much more to photography than pulling out your phone and taking pictures. And uh, we'll learn from the master that's in right. this. Raymond knows exactly well, what he's today, doing. Today, with with digital photography, that that picture could still be 
accomplished, but not with a phone, but probably with a, a better digital camera. You wouldn't have to use 11 by 14 film like I had to at that particular time. Did but, you, uh, <laughs> you know, doing doing the photography would be pretty much you'd still have to build that set. Well, so you know, there's there's a lot of work that goes in, goes into doing a uh, a photograph for an advertisement, and that's why the the uh, you know that particular picture, the uh, art director told me that they sold millions of dollars worth of that product after the ad appeared. So that you know that really boosts your uh, you know the the art director's opinion of you oh, yes. as the photographer. And, uh, you know, I, I got a lot of uh, work from that particular client. As a matter of fact, 27 and a half years of work. That's, Actually, that's I, amazing. I, you know, they, they kept supplying me with all kinds of work, and I talk about it in the book. The book is Illuminations, okay. Earning a Living with Dynamic Photography, just available. You'll find it at pageturner.us. You'll find it at raymondjkleinauthor.com. All those are listed on our website. And the visions of light. Let's. We got a few minutes left in the program. Going by so quickly. Let's talk about that because this really is a a, a stunning book. What do you hope people take away in, in in reading book visions of life? What do you hope they feel their emotions after reading this book? Because there's a there's really a lot of enjoyment with this book, isn't there? That's right. Yeah, the poems that are written that uh, go with the pictures are uh, kind of uh, enjoyable, you know, and uh, 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 very interesting. And uh, there's one in particular, uh, the picture is called The Newsboy. And uh, that was a picture that I captured uh, way back in uh, 1957. And uh, shortly uh, after the book was, uh, the, book, the, the initial book after it was published, I realized that the stack of newspapers that was in the picture had the initials IKE on on the headline, and and so gosh, that was uh, General Ike. Oh yes, that was his, uh, you know, his uh, nickname. And so I went to the encyclopedia and found out that in 1957 he had sent a thousand troops down to Little Rock, Arkansas, and um, so you know going through Congress, we came out with the Civil Rights Act. And so I decided to write about that and uh, put that into the visions of the newer version of the Visions of Light book now with the new cover. So that makes it kind of interesting uh, right there. And the poem is, uh, you know, uh, very descriptive. It's just a job so well done by Raymond. It's a beautiful, it's a just a, a gorgeous book, a, a, an addition, a welcome addition to uh, to anybody's library. If you've got the the original edition, this one is different. The, the book cover, as I say, is just a, a picture you like to frame and put up, put up on the wall by itself. It's so well done. Uh, you'll sign, find all of this at Raymond's website. It's RaymondJKleinAuthor.com. Klein is K-L-E-I-N. All of this, uh, you find out on our website, This Week in America.us. Spend a little time with the website. Enjoy the pictures there, the, uh, the photographs that Raymond has, and then you can get information and order the books there as well. I mentioned the book available at pageturner.us in the bookstore. You've been working with them on the new book and the new cover, the, the new edition of Visions of Light. What's that experience been like in working with Page Turner? Uh, it's been uh, very enjoyable. The, uh, the printing process, uh, you know, these, these books now are uh, printed on demand, you know, so when you, when you order the book, I don't, no, you know, it may take take a, a week or two before you get it because it has to go through the presses. Either that, or maybe they have to wait until the. You know, I'm not sure exactly how it all yes. uh, works out, but the initial book, uh, the first one with the light pattern on it, that was uh, had to be printed uh, somewhere else, and uh, so I had to wait like six months to get a, uh, a the first printed copies of that. But today, you know, they have that print-on-demand uh, oh, yes. business, and and it, it uh, you know, so uh, it doesn't take that long to get copies of the book. 
I mentioned you retired what like in 1995, moving out to the uh, to the West Coast. There, retired. I have a that's feeling right. that's that's the incorrect word. Are you actually retired or working on something even as we speak? I have a feeling that you're you're always the mind is at work and uh, that artistic eye is always out there looking for another picture. Well, you know, once the photography bug grabs it, you know, it, yep. Yep. it hangs on. Pretty tight. <laughs> So I I became a member of this uh, gallery, and I'm also involved in a camera club where we do things. I've, uh, as, as a matter of fact, the, that picture uh, of the autumn leaves has already won two uh, blue ribbons in my uh, photography club competition, Fantastic. and as well as the pink ribbon that I got in in my uh, art gallery exhibitions. So that particular picture has gotten around quite a bit, but the, uh, you know, uh, so I am, you know, we, we have meetings, uh, twice a month, uh, using zoom in, in my camera club. So that, uh, you know, that keeps me going. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm also on the board of directors with our camera club. Uh, uh, we have, uh, the regular meetings and determining, what we want to do with all of the other members of the club. So we have field trips and we have, uh, you know, uh, little competitions. And now with the zoom, uh, we, we can actually look at the pictures that were, that all the people in the club are submitting, uh, once a month into that particular competition. So it makes it kind of exciting to still keep, you know, going with all of my friends, uh, in the camera club and with the people that I'm involved with in the gallery. Yeah. So I, it's I'm amazing, happy. amazing. The innovation, the technology out there with picture taking and being able to get together, even though you can't get together with people actually, you know, be there, you can do it through, through zoom and all of this. There is so much, uh, so many opportunities out there and Raymond, uh, hopefully are you working on a new book? <laughs> you know, I am. <laughs> Good. I was the answer I was looking for. So I, I'm glad to hear that. And hopefully we'll uh, be able to talk about that as well. Now, the two books we're talking about, Visions of Light, Inspirational Poetry, Stunning Photography, Discovering Value in Your Photographic Imagery. And that includes photography tips from the author, Raymond J. Klein. That's available. The new cover, you'll find that uh, at the usual places. It can be those in a second. And the new book, Illuminations, Earning a Living with Dynamic Photography. I'll direct you to pageturner.us in the bookstore. And for information on Raymond, the books, a chance to look at some of the stunning photography that he has. His website is raymondjkleinauthor.com. Of course, all of that on our website. Raymond, it's always great to talk with you. The time always goes by way too quickly, so we'll have to do it again. Thank you for joining us once again on the program. Okay. Thank you, Rick. I certainly did uh, appreciate it. And, uh, you know, hope we uh, get some... Um, People, I would love young people to get a look at, at this Illuminations book. I think, uh, you know, it would inspire them to get involved and uh, look forward to getting a job in the field. Well, because there, there's a certainly, uh, 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 as far as I know, there's a, there is a calling for these uh, photographers to, you know, use their imagination and uh, produce images for the advertising field. I know that's a passion of yours to reach out to the young people and show them what's available in the field of photography. And that story uh, comes across in Illuminations. Our guest on the program has been uh, Raymond J. Klein. All of the information on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back on today's program after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.